Hi everybody, this is Agnesa from No Sediment and today let's look at 5 great champagnes to pop open at your next celebration. No matter what's the occasion, whether it's a joyous meeting with long-lost friends, a birthday dinner, New Year's celebration or promotion at work, champagne and its effervescence seems like a perfect beverage for festivity. Sometimes celebration is just the fact that you have a chilled champagne bottle in your fridge. The association of champagne with celebration probably started already in the 10th century. During that time, the kings of France were crowned in the cathedral of Reims, the largest city in the Champagne region. It seems only logical that local wines were served during these festivities. And what do you know, nowadays we read about Champagne being enjoyed at the parties of the Great Gatsby, listen rappers singing about bubbles poured during their wild nights at nightclubs, and read what Champagne brands were enjoyed at the latest wedding of the Royal British House. So these are my top 5 champagnes for celebration, each in different style, philosophy and price range. For some, Piper Heidsack might bring an association of plush red lips, high heels and maybe even somewhat playful and not very serious character. But Piper Heidsack red label is great champagne, especially given its availability and price tag. The red label is based on Pinot Noir with additions of Chardonnay and Mignet, an impressive amount of reserve wines which is usually around 25 to 30 percent. It is fresh and zesty while young, offering more richness and structure with age. For Champagne it has always had a very approachable price tag, however those days when you could snap a bottle under 30 euros on the sale are gone. L'Armagnier Bernier owns some of the greatest vineyards in Champagne, especially so for Blanc de Blanc style lovers like myself. They are making exceptionally high quality champagnes only from the vineyards they own and more importantly all the vineyards are farmed biodynamically. They pick grapes only when fully matured yet they are very elegant with refreshing acidity that shapes these beautiful champagnes and lifts them up. They also show exceptionally high flavor intensity and amazingly long finish. Pink champagnes tend to be more expensive, so it might be more difficult to find one in a budget-friendly category. However, Bollinger, in my opinion, has always offered a great quality champagnes, and interestingly, in many blind tastings, I have always preferred their style. Bollinger House is known to make wines based on the Pinot Noir grape, showing great depth concentration and aroma intensity. Therefore, it almost seems natural that they offer great pink champagnes as well, because they know how to manipulate red grapes to achieve highest quality. Their rosé is made from the same blend as their special cuvée, only with small addition, which is usually around 5% of red wine to achieve the desired color. Go Premium with Comtesse de Champagne from House Tatanger, one of the Cove Prestige that, in my opinion, we simply don't talk enough about. Offering great value for money, but its price recently has started to increase. Still exceptional quality though. Comtes de Champagne is made from 100% Chardonnay grapes, which are sourced from the best vineyards of Côte de Blanc, which includes such top Grand Cru sites as Avis, Craman and Le Menil sur -Auger. The average time each bottle spends on its lease is 9 years, which is impressive. For me, Comtes de Champagne is one of the most elegant Blanc de Blanc champagnes out there. Clean, fresh and mineral, yet at the same time rich and creamy. Until very recently, Recently, while it was still quite affordable, Comtes de Champagne was my go-to celebration champagne and it has never disappointed. For the upcoming New Year's celebration, I myself am going to open a champagne that I have never tasted before. After all, wine should also be about exploring new things. And this year it's going to be Rose de Jeanne, which is a small producer who in a short period of time has gained a cult status. Behind these champagnes is Cédric Bouchard with his philosophy to bottle only single vineyard and single grape variety champagnes. This one is Pinot Noir based. Interesting fact about these wines is that less sugar is added for the second fermentation 
in the bottle, resulting in champagnes with lower pressure. I have never tasted this champagne, so I cannot describe it, but I'm looking forward tasting it. Anyway, this has been an incredibly challenging year for me with a lot of ups and downs, which simply makes it more interesting. And there is no better way to welcome a new year with a glass of champagne. Cheers to all of you guys and may your next year be joyous, spent with your closest friends and family. And not necessarily with more wine, but for sure with better wine. Champagne is not the only bubble you can pop open for celebration. I have made a video on five great alternatives for champagne. 